So we show up at this little town. We see this old courthouse. Let's go walk around and see what this little courthouse looks like. You can see it's relatively old. And this is what happened within half a block. <laughs> walking up a public street. This is this is the thing that public building. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> and well, you'll see. This is uh this is a poor dirt farmer out there in uh just wandering around and <laughs> look at this crap. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little fast forward. I wanted to get to what he had to say. To oh, concerned? Like, all right. Concerned about what? What was this again? Somebody can hear from the sheriff's office and our patrol vehicles. It just makes us concerned. Yeah. What's your name? I'm oh, sorry, I can't see. It's Billy Townsend. Billy Townsend? Are you the sheriff? I think I see your name. No. Didn't I just see your name somewhere? I was trying to find out what's going on. That's it. Oh, you captain? Sergeant. Okay. okay. This day and age, this day and age, man. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're secured in there. I mean, you're secure in there. You have questions about anything you want? Oh, no. I'm trying to help you. Oh yeah, you really want to help? You want to help the shit out of him? That's not what it's about. We're curious. Help yourselves. You don't want to help us. You just want to help yourself. Check them out, then. Just check it out, then. That's what you do. Yeah. I'm just walking down the street. In actuality, I'm a I'm a free American walking down the street, not doing anything. What I'm doing is constitutionally protected. That's right. I'm being accosted by people that took an oath to uphold that. And you're starting to get a little bit uptight. I've already noticed that. I didn't want to push your buttons, and I don't try to. Oh, you try. Oh, oh, you want to sit there? Oh, you want to? You want to try and sit there and try and flip the script, huh? You don't like it when the script is all like this. You got cameras on this building. You got cameras in your hand. What are you worried about? What are you hiding in there? You must be hiding something. That's what I'm thinking. You must be hiding something. Are you doing something illegal in there? You got any illegal drugs and illegal uh, ammunition or illegal weapons or any kind on you at all? I think I smell marijuana when you guys walked up. When's the last time you guys been smoking pot? I mean, shit, man. You know, you look a little, you look a little, eyes look a little red over there. You've been slurring. Well, here, I got a question for you. I'm going to ask, we weren't videoing. Okay, I have a, I have a question for you. I've identified myself, told you who I am. I'm asking you to tell me who you are. I'm not forcing you. I'm not requiring Well, check it out. I got a legitimate question. I, I just came up with it. cameras on me, so what I'm asking now, if you're going to look at us, turn the camera out and put it on you. Barking. Yeah, you were barking at us. Turn the camera around. Okay. Well, how comes these cars are parked on what looks like a sidewalk? That's a good point. Now you guys, hey, you guys can't say shit about that. That's when you want to walk away, isn't it? But you work for me. That's right. Why not? You get federal funding, dumbass. I'm a of America, and you're supposed to upstand and hold, huh? What, you have to oh. be a union guy? Oh, now you're going to walk away. For you to uphold my rights. Now you're going to walk away. I don't answer questions, but my point is, you work for the government because you work for the government, man. You work for the citizens. I'm a citizen in the free country. Oh, we're trying to set you. You walked out, motherfucker. When you, you walked, walked out. out the door, you showed your tyrancy. That's right. You showed your tyrancy when you came out That's the right. door. That's right. That's right. You were tyrants, right. both of y'all. That's right. Yes, you're trying to 
bunch of fear. You're trying to put fear in me. I haven't. No, you haven't been respectful. It's all on camera. Look at your camera. You see nothing. No. When you walked out the door, you violated my rights as a free American to walk down the street without a bunch of armed thugs coming out and saying, "Hey, what are you doing here?" That's you're right. Thug to me. That's right. And you're a thug. Yes. That's what American people think of police now. Okay. Well, yes. Yeah. Prove him wrong. Prove him wrong. You wonder who I am? I am the poor dirt farmer. Okay, I have over 600 rapist cops on my page in the last six months who have done everything from rape their own dogs to raping babies. Y'all get six months probation. The Hawaii cop got six months probation. He raped at least two five-year-old little girls. Do you care about that? You know, you care about somebody walking up a public street with a camera in Florida videoing a, a beautiful old building you're coming out here worried about your safety or someone's safety you're not out here to help me so you're a tyrant and you're a thug so go back into your little protective little custody building go in there and wait for your retirement because that's all you're doing welfare recipient go motherfucker YouTube, poor dirt farmer living off of us people that work hard in the private sector yeah, to pay your fucking salary really your fucking goddamn your livelihood where your kids have something to eat and I live in your fucking wife got this at house and all that fucking this fucking you just steal our fucking extort our goddamn money and then you take more and take more and take more because you're a tyrant thug with a badge and a gun and think you own me but you don't I'm a free American I go where I want do what I want and I don't break the law so go back in and go alright I wanted to uh meet air pick the world's smallest and easiest aerial camera ever made. Capture HD photos and video. Damn it. Alright, anyway. We introduced the lowly peanut. Anyway. I wanted to. I wanted to, uh, uh, um, show off a little bit of the poor dirt farmer. Because I was like, man. He <laughs> he was right on the money, and I'm gonna tell you something, man. Um, I want I actually, man. I've been thinking about doing this, showcasing a lot of these uh, YouTube channels that I subscribe to or, or I like, and I I I I like some of the stuff they talk about or or whatever, you know, and and for some reason. Poor Dirt Farmer, I'm going to tell you something, man. Your video just popped up. I just watched it. And, <laughs> man, I'm going to tell you something. I think all of us really need to have that um, that education, that willingness to stand up for our rights. And um, we got to get rid of this, 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 this um, communistic idealism you know this 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 idea that we we all have to ask for permission i mean we're, we're not free people if we got to ask permission you know what i mean the government's not our daddies we're, it's not our masters they're not our our uh you know our our rulers we are not their servants we're not their serfs we're not their damn you know slaves and um, we need to remind them that they work for us. The people up here that work our ass off in the private sector pay for everything that the public sector lives off of. Everything from answering the telephones all the way up to the president. Everything. Everything that gets pump publicly funded from us in the private sector pays for all of it. All your salary, all your taxes that you even claim that you're paying and all this other stuff. You're not paying that shit. I am. Me in the private sector is paying your salary, therefore your taxes. I am paying your taxes. And my taxes. And I'm paying for your house that you live in. I'm paying for the damn car you're driving. I'm paying for the damn... You know, the, the, the education you send your kids to school for. I'm, st I'm paying for that shit. I'm the one that pays for it. 
And you people act like, I mean, seriously, you can go into any private business with a camera and stuff like that. You would, you would get more welcoming um, reactions. You go into a public, a public uh, uh, service of some kind, and they and they act like that we're beneath them. We're just, you know, we're just cockroaches that need to be scurried away. And you can't watch what we do. We're we're criminals. We can't be documented. We we gotta watch y'all though. We gotta watch all y'all, but you can't watch us. I want to give my, uh, I want to tip my hat to the poor dirt farmer. Wingnut Radio out here for Anarchy TV, and I'm back out.